You missed only one door, so let's ignore that for now. I'll ignore it. I'm good at that. Fuck these things. I think they're only in this area, too. Good! Hit that door. Now exit, yeah. And now once- ah. Ah. Now once again, you're in the safe part. Okay, but I wanna go check that out. <sighs> There's only two doors left. Yep. And the solution will surely be through one. I hope it's Karkin. You will surely get the Karkin tether. Oh god, thank god. If that was locked, the game would have gotten really confusing for a bit. <laughs> for a little, little tiny bit. Woo! Coins. Yep. Coinage. Got a silver coin. Can I get more? I don't need any more coins, despite the fact I don't know what I need to do with this coin at this particular juncture. I also don't know. Can I climb uh, under that? No? Ooh, nah. is there anything back here? I can pull. Check out the coin. Check out the coin. Why not? I, I don't this remember. This is the, my lucky. I don't coin. remember the coin at all. It's about the size of a quarter. I get the feeling it's really old. I have a use command, and that's about it. Well, there was a vending machine before, but it had a save on it, so I kind of don't think that's a thing. Huh. Oh, oh yeah. here we go. It's playing old vending machine. This one is selling canned cool. Silent well, let's Hill read drinks. what's on the on the wall. Come think of it, I am kind of thirsty. Oh shit. Uh, I'd feel weird drinking anything sold in a place like this. Fair, though. Heather. Fair. Fair enough. There's something written on the wall. The ones... This, Thus this one's, one's life, life turns, turns into riches. riches. What was... A Go bag ahead. of silver coins is now the number in a book. Yet faith ha fate hath no price. Ah, uh, but people do... Bleh, do people know this? Just use the fucking coin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's how most Silent Hill puzzles yeah. end up. Yeah, yeah. Just... Uh, just use... What is it? Can of monster. The ring came off my monster can. Don't worry about that, my good man. Huh. It reminds me of the cans you have to move upside down to get the key that's in them. And, um, yeah, Shadow it also memories. reminds me of... Uh, it's Silent Hill 2 where you open Life up a canned goods and there's light bulbs inside. Oh, right, right. And that's uh, that's the, one of the weirdest they've ever done. Hey, everyone. I'm really sorry we missed the prompt where uh, where you get the walnut in the previous section. Yeah. And when you go back, it says this is the place where the walnut was. Oh. <laughs> that's a good prompt. Oh, that's good. All right. So we have a key to let's look at that. Uh, Life insurance. This is the vending machine. It, lo Examine it looks it. real enough. The tag Elberton, Elberton Life, Life Insurance. insurance. All, right, All right. So, so now you check that. your map and you'll be able to see where Elberton Life Insurance is at. <sighs> Not on this floor. What about. Uh, no. Okay. So go to the fifth. Gallery of Fine Arts. No. Uh, water glass. Geological. So Must down. be on the first floor. Or the second, possibly. The second... Alberton Life Insurance on 1F, yeah. Okay. You're uh, good to go. All right. Back to the first floor. <sighs> okay. You're almost done. The game? Cool. No. Shit. Oh, fuck you. Good job, camera. You got Matt. You got Matt once again. You got again. me good. So I can just go through there. That's right. And then I can just knock him over. What? <laughs> it's it, oh my god, you guys! You guys! Because you're, you're mashing on the not door. I, yeah, I know, but that door texture is just like yeah, I, I know. just like, I know, I know. You're not wrong. That's that's the door, right? Yeah, here. that's the door. But, but that this part also is looks like a slightly smaller, thinner door. Yes. Anyway. Uh, is my health okay? Oh, your health is totally fine. You're not wrong. You're just running into the fucking the old foibles of the sur yeah, survival no, horror no, genre. No, 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 I totally am. That's fine. It's fine. Yeah. That's just fine. Oh, there's gonna be a fight in here, maybe. In this tiny ass little room? Yeah. Well, you wouldn't have much With room to maneuver. Without an insane cancer. That would take up the whole fucking space. But it would be an uncomfortable ride. It's like when Chihiro is in the ride in, uh, in Spirited Away with the Onion Spirit. 
It's been a while. It's, yeah, well, it's an uncomfortable ride. You know what's an uncomfortable ele- elevator ride? Yeah. One from like episode 21 or 22 of Evangelion. And that's just bitches, man. I, I think I vaguely know which one you mean. That's just bitches being bitches. Insane cancers being insane cancers. It's like, why are you, why are you being such a bitch? Uh, fuck you. Okay. Just, everyone just calm down. Everyone just... Alright, wait, wait. That's locked. Yeah. That door. Yeah, so and now you have a key. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, I guess that entire hallway is... You open up that oh, whole okay. place. Yeah, yeah, okay, I see. And in there is a solution to your problem. I promise. It's a flamethrower. It unfortunately is much lamer than a flamethrower. I use the Geico key. I want to say 15% or more on car insurance. It's like the boss is like the little lizard. Silent Hill insurance. Man, my premiums are going up this year. Well, well, there's a bunch of weird drifters coming to town. Again. You never know what they come They come in waves. It's like the season. (sighs) Damn it. Season starting. That's this nothing. isn't anything? Come that's, on. That's off. nothing. Careful. There's ickies. I can I can I can see the ickies. Hit that door, Fitty! Ah! Hit that door, Fitty! What? What is this noise? This new devilry. Oh, why does it have to be so loud? Yeah, fuck you guys, huh? Yeah, fuck you guys indeed. I solved the riddle. Aw, oh, come What a great room. Get it? Cause it's life insurance. This is the media room. This is a this is a fucking kill room. What is this now? The end of this crappy fairy tale. <laughs> yeah, you like that, huh? Crap. Read it careful. The king and his people shed tears at the death of the kind priestess. God took pity upon them and granting their wishes, healed the priestess. Priestess opened her eyes just as she had done every morning of her life. She went once more to the monster's lair and just kicked him hard on the nuts. Fool! You wish to die again? No. This time, it's your turn. The priestess had come to defeat the monster once and for all. As the priestess was very kind, she felt sad about this task, but it gotta be done. Swords and spears won't work. Arrows and bullets will just bounce off me. You can't kill me, the monster Also, a fairy tale involving bullets. That struck me, yeah. But the priestess used neither sword, no spear, no her sick-ass glock. She chanted but a single spell. Tufu Ego Eris. Do you know what happened then? The monster let out a huge cry and then died and vanished. Thus, the villagers were able to use their gates once more. Everyone lavished their gratitude upon the priestess, and they all lived happily ever after. Okay. So I guess we're going to... Are we... Tufu Ego Eris... Weird writing. <gasps> what was that? Are you serious? Good job, Heather. Does that does that kill hallway monster? It sure did. Oh wow. You know what else it did? Oh what? It killed everything in the apartment. Shut up. Yeah, in the building. That's awesome. Yeah. Why doesn't she say that in every time? Because it's localized to this building. That's that's some that's that's the So power the cosmic. guys that were freaking out earlier? Gone. That's cool. But still, though. What's notable is that. Did she even e- try? What's to notable say is that spell? even though. Uh, no. What, even though you just solved all the problem, the world didn't change back. Yeah. It just kills the flora and fauna of this environment. I like describing Silent Hill problems as flora and fauna. Yeah. You know, the, the, the local wildlife. Oh, yeah, a slurper kid. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're gonna go on a safari to see the slurpers. Careful, they don't look into your heart. Watch out for your bum. What, what? Watch out. All right. Oh, check out the map, what it says. Yeah, what? What? I didn't see. Monster? Monster? He could just be an artist. It's a performance it's art piece. piece. <laughs> now everything is fine again. Oh, shit. Wait, what? There were, you, in front of the monster, there was a piece of the fairy tale. Once upon a time, see, this is the start of it. There was yeah. a monster living in the gates of a village. It was very scary and a very bad monster. It would catch people and crunch them up in its big ass teeth. 
The villagers were afraid of the monster and no one would dare approach the gates. Everyone was stuck inside the village and it was boring. When the king heard about this, he summoned his knights. The knights eagerly rode out to defeat the monster. Haha, -ha, take that. Their swords slashed and their spears flashed, but the monster would not die. The monster tossed the knights into its mouth, one by one, horses and all. So it was an apostle. <laughs> ha! What was the king to do? He fretted and fussed and farted and paced the floor, but could not think of no solution. I can't think of no solution. <laughs> Damn, what are we going to do about that monster? Oh, we'll never stop that macaroni rascal. Soon after, the village priestess came to the castle. She was a very kind and good person. The king asked her to defeat the monster guarding the gates. Okay. The first part. I'm sure I've read this before somewhere. I feel like that's the first time I'm ever going to read that ending. Oh, well, whatever. It's no time for me to worry about that. I just want to get home. This this was a weird section. Sure is. Sure is. You seem to actually remember more of this than you... I remember um, a lot of the nightmare version. But I don't enough. remember almost any of the, the normal office. Fair enough. Like, everything past the, uh, the bathtub's a lot more clear for <laughs> obvious reasons. Hey, look at that! And uh, we're just in my apartment building. I guess. Apartment building? I don't know. No, you're on your street. Ah, oh, it's a sign for a cafe. Oh, that's the one I was just in. It was a good time, that cafe. So here's the thing. Even though you're out onto the street in what is ostensibly the I'm realist the part of the real world, yeah, there is still the Silent Hill 2 thing of if you look to your left over there. To your left? Like there. Of this? enormous areas sealed off. Well, this is the... When we started this, the construction site at the start of yeah. the session, this was here, and it was like, what? Why? My apartment's the, the other, other way. way. I don't e don't even look in this direction. Are we, are we actually on like a city street? Oh shit, we are. You're on a proper city street. This place looks great. Any, it's anything? this this part of the this I remember part of the Silent game Hill was too. There's a lot of shit incredibly laying. weird to me. Yeah. Because you just exit out onto a completely normal city street. That, I don't have a map. Although she should know this area, like the back of her hand. Oh god, it's so dark. Yeah, hug the walls. I mean, I don't think anything's gonna attack us right here, but I don't. I don't Nothing will attack you here. I don't know. Oh god, is this? Is this okay? It's fine. All I can promise is that from here on out, I'll work hard. You'll work hard. Yeah. I don't believe you. Hmm. I don't believe you at all. Is oh, should I go back? No. No. Okay. There's nothing really crazy to find. No, that none of that is crazy. You can read that. Uh, you can read that. Uh, that. You're in the Daisy, Daisy Villa, Villa apartments. apartments. That's what it said on my key. Hey, Dad. I didn't get what you needed, but I got this cool katana and a shotgun and a pipe that's useless. I did bring home some stuff. I have some ampoules and some liver. I burned it though, so sorry. Wow, this is incredibly normal. Yeah, I know, right? Like aside from a little maybe, dingy. Aside from maybe the. You want to check uh, that door that it like zoomed in on? You mean over here? Yeah. That's, That's not, not my right place. place. I'm not allowed in that thing, especially after what I did. Because I wanted the. Uh... Well, I'm sure I could check the key and figure out which door it is, but let's just try every. Oh, do you have a key for it? Yeah. For so, your house? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, you can just you can just check it. 102. I bet the camera will just go vroom, vroom, when and you it says Heather's house. Heather's big house. 90% of Silent Hill is my house. Jeez, that's still one of the funny. Oh yeah. Like, that's that's if I have to look kindly down upon Homecoming, it's basically that. You're going to want to save. I'm going to want to save. What's this doing here? Oh, it really pissed me off. <laughs> what does it mean? Oh. It always hurts to save. Oh. Gallery and gallery. I don't know what I'm doing. You guys, I'm you idiots. Let's go shopping. She's just talking to, to slurpers. This is my place. Why should I leave the apartment? That's the door outside, I think. Oh, okay. That's, yeah, I was like, first, like, she's like, I don't want to go in my place. So I use the house key.
I have to load into my own apartment. Oh, here we go. Dad, I'm home. Listen, something really crazy is going on. I think we should... Dad? Dad? Did you do this? You're late. But why? Why? Revenge for 17 years ago, for one thing. If not for him, our dream would have come true. And then he took you away from us. Another reason to fill your heart with hatred. It must be this way. One day you'll understand why. No, I'll never understand! You must try to remember me and your true self as well. You will birth a god and build an eternal paradise. Okay. So this boss is called the Missionary. Yeah, no, I, I, I've heard his name before. Uh, there's a couple things you can do. Shotgun's a good way to go. Uh, let's see how much shotgun ammo I have before I start relying on it too much. I have 29 shells. I think that's pretty good. Uh, basically, uh, its most dangerous attack is when it's getting up after being knocked down. It has some type of... It has a wake-up attack. Okay, I'll... Let's, let's go with this for now. Um, so, shoot it. If you knock it down... Yeah, so that's a problem. God, it's dark. It's very dark. When you say this is a problem, you mean like this is not- this So is run to it, knock it down, uh, and shoot it again. Now back up. Alright. There's also a couple things you can do. You can, uh, hide in the darkness by turning off your, uh, flashlight. You either have to knock him out of his attacks, or, uh... Okay. Or get him. So, yeah, if you turn off your flashlight... He'll... He'll, he'll lose you. you. Okay. And also, all That's you, good if all you have to do is tiptoe... ...and stay out of the light. Eventually, he'll stop moving, and then you can sneak up on him. Okay, well, it's hard... I, like, I don't want to lose him. See, he's basically stopped moving Oh, now. if I shoot him in the back, then he can't block. That's right. Okay. Ah, oh, fuck. But, yeah, he, he's, he's lost sight of you. 
Yeah. Now back off. See, so you're playing hide and go see. He's your left. Oh, you lost him yeah, too. Yeah, I lost him super good. There he is. There he is, yeah. Reload before you attack him again. Right. This is kind of cool. Uh oh. Shit. He found you. Yeah, see when he runs at you like that? A lot of ammo, though. Oh, yeah. Ah, fuck. So, I I really love that his name is the missionary because like it, it like for some reason I think this is a regular human being. That yeah, okay. That is has either Heather is seeing this way or yeah, he does damage. Or has been changed. Like a controller rumbling, so it's kind of Yeah. Now you can use a wow. one one health kit. Uh sorry, one uh There you go. So that's basically the fight. You sneak around. Basically, you have to, he has to be pretty far away from you for him to like completely lose you. Careful. There, I think he's lost you. Oh, he turned at the last second. You're you're really far away. Oh, and he's dead. Kick him. Can't. No, oh yeah, I you can. can. The final kick. Congrats, you beat the missionary first try. Okay. I had a lot of trouble with him, but then again, well, I was like 13. Yeah. <sighs> I don't know what to say. Then don't say anything. I'm fine, so just get out of here and leave me alone already! Calm down. I just... Calm down? How am I supposed to do that? My father is dead! He's murdered! Get out! This is all your fault! If it weren't for you... I'm sorry. Then go! If it'll make you feel better, I will. <laughs> okay. Is he okay like this? What else can I do? There's no one here to give him a decent burial. <sighs> I'm sorry, Dad. What do you do now? I'm going to Silent Hill. What's in Silent Hill? I don't know. Do you think it's safe? Of course it isn't. I don't know what kind of hell is waiting for me there, but I've got no other choice. I don't care about God or paradise. If that's what she believes, then fine. But she won't get away with what she did. Find her. I'll kill her myself. Revenge doesn't solve anything. Maybe not, but that's what I'm going to do. How are you gonna get there? None of your business. I'll give you a ride. I don't need your help. Yeah, but it's too far to walk. Besides, I'm partly responsible for this. I'll 
bring the car around back. Come by when you finish saying goodbye. You know, you might die too. That's fine. Nobody's gonna cry over my grave. Okay. So. A lot of shit just happened. Yeah, so Harry Mason from Silent Hill 1 has died. Like, you you, you suspect that it's going to be him the whole time, I imagine. Yeah, yeah. And sure. then you get there and you're like, well, I'm going to see, oh! And he doesn't really get fuck. to do anything. Huh. I, all, I have to make note of it, but the fact that his blood is on her coat is awesome. Yeah. What a little detail. Uh... I just, man, I, I like the idea, and it's really, it's a huge downer, but I love the idea of, like, heroes don't get away from sometimes, their, their quests. Sometimes they, they can't make it all the way. Oh, what a great shot. And also the, um, the, the first track that started to play when she came down from the staircase and met Douglas was the one they used for the first Silent Hill movie trailer. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think it's Promise Reprise. I, I I think I used it for the uh, no I used Angela's name I think but yeah Harry May like hey Hachi Mishima is Harry dead. Mason is dead and Claudia is a bitch I really like uh, Douglas just going fine if you want me to go I will cut to him still being in the house and hanging out well because he says like if it makes you feel better I'll go and then she doesn't say anything because it won't actually make her feel better. Mm, well, kind of a random monster, though. Really, like yeah, the missionary. Just the, uh, the uh, big head or bag head from like um, uh, God, um, Splatterhouse. Yeah, the guy a with the bag. Yeah, kind of his own. Just a regular TV. Anything doing your thing? No, not really. It's just you're able to explore and look at the house and, Kitchen. and see, like, what their normal-ass life was like. I mean, you gotta eat to keep up your strength, girl. You gotta make four pounds of mac and cheese. Yeah, I need all of it at the same time. You know what Liam had the next night for dinner? What? Mac and cheese. Of course he I did. I was with him. <laughs> Good job. He ate mac and cheese. I can't reach nobody, not the police or the church. Hello, church! Sorry, I have a Silent Hill problem on, on the loose. So, to anyone who's played Silent Hill 1 or knows something about Ooh, Silent Hill 1, it's becoming incredibly obvious why the Nightmare World is able to reach out outside of Silent Hill. Because it's specifically local, uh, localized around your character. Or within your kitchen. And it always was, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like, Silent Hill's, like, hard nightmare is localized around her. Whoa, really? I beat Silent Hill. I'm the strongest. He did beat it pretty hard. Liar! Wow. I know. That's it's a little like a, harsh. It's a sad liar, though. Right? Yeah, yeah. I so, we're, we're at a point in which one ending leads to Shattered Memories. Yeah, yeah, And yeah. then the, the what's called the good plus ending leads to Silent Hill 3. So there's an alien ending, but like, we're talking about this, but is there actual, like on your first playthrough, no. can you make no. choices? No, there's that a possessed ending that you can get, uh, but it's it's purely uh, a bonus ending. You have to beat the game already once. Okay, okay, okay. Really and sure. it's very non-canon. So I guess we leave. Remember the save point? And there was a door that said like, oh, I don't need to leave. This is my oh, place. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we might as well uh, just save the game. Down here, and then we can head out to Silent Hill. I guess so. Guess and have to it's, go it's incredibly unclear how far away. Oh, you passed it. Whoa! It's incredibly unclear how far away from Silent Hill you actually are. Sorry, where was the save? Forward, and take a right at the first branch. There you go. There's your save. Right. Okay. Heather, your quest isn't going very well. Yeah, you're not a good scientist, and yeah. 